Hello and welcome to Biocode. In this video, you will see how we can utilize various classes and subclasses that are provided by BioSix uh, module. Basically, there are three subclasses within um, a Bio.6 module that are sick, unknown sick, mutable sick. We have demonstrated sick uh, class thoroughly, and in this video, we will uh, demonstrate unknown sick class, mutable sick class. First of all, what you need to understand is that in in Bio in BioPython or in normal python language uh, the sequence the string sequence is not able to is not able to mutate at all for example if you would like to if you see this string a t a for example if you would like to convert a into a c on a runtime base for example if, you, if your program is running and you would like to convert a, a particular position of a string or if you would like to manipulate a particular position of a string you cannot do that python does not allow that it is prohibited on the runtime you can uh, do it uh, through the input or you can do it uh, you can do it uh, hard coded like this for example if you, if you just convert it into c and then run the code it can work otherwise you cannot do it on the runtime so uh, same goes for the sequence object you cannot uh, convert uh, you cannot change values within the sequence you cannot manipulate values within the sequence once it has been created uh, either it, it is a sequence object or either it is a string so therefore bio.seq module allows us a uh, uh, provide us a class that is known as mutable seq class so we have imported it mutable seq basically uh, we we take a sequence from the user and then it can be um, mutated it can be for, as a biological term it can be mutated it can be manipulated it can be changed so this code will not work and this is a normal string uh, ata which is a my dna sequence and it will print out as a string type and it if we are trying to change the uh, we are trying to change t into o but it cannot be accomplished it will provide us an error let's run this code and if i run this particular code you can see that str object does not support item assignment so we cannot change this particular value so let's just uh, cut it out i'm just going to store into an, in, into a different file then we can also go back to our original file and we can uh, then we can run this particular code so we can see if sequence object allows us to uh, allows us the manipulation and now you can see okay so i actually made a mistake uh, let's just uh, my dna is equal to a t a there you go let's rerun it and there we go sequence object does not support item assignment so we cannot also we cannot also do that in the sequence object we cannot manipulate files uh, manipulate sequences and but we can do that in mutable sequence so i'm just going to rerun it and after that uh, you can see that it has uh, thoroughly worked so it is a basically this other error we will we will discuss that later and now you can see that it is mutable seek uh, class of this particular dna and uh, you, since we are connecting it to type all we need to do is earlier we need, we used to uh, pass uh, pass our dna sequence to a seek function but since we need it to be mutable we are passing it to be mutable seek sequence only do that whenever it is utmost necessary you you should not create mutable seek sequence objects unless you you need them because you can uh, falsely you can without any particular knowledge you can just uh, mutate your sequence and it will ru ruin your anal whole analysis uh, uh, within a single command so i'm just going to put that in a separate file let's go back to our original file so let's rerun it i'm just going to pass in print my dna there you go let's rerun it okay so now you can see t has been converted into o so t has been muted into o so let's uh, copy it into a separate file let's go back to our original now we will demonstrate uh, the possibility of utilizing a uh, sequence that is unknown 
for example, unknown sequence uh, class that allows us to create a sequence object of unknown type. For example, if you don't know what is that sequence, it is a protein sequence, it is a sequence, it is a mutable sequence, whatever it is, we just we can convert it into a unknown sequence type. All we need to do is uh, pass in uh, the DNA sequence or the whatever unknown sequence into the unknown sequence function and then we can print it out. So all we need to do is